let your power flow in this place let your healing come in this place I call for signs and wonders in this place let your presence show in this place let your power flow in this place Jesus let your healing come I don't know what you've come here with this morning in this place ha we call for signs and wonders Mashatayabo Sedele in this place let your presence show in this place. Oh, anointing fall on me. Hey. Your mercies will I see. Hey. Just like the days when power part the sea. Your power remains the same. Mashataya won't say the Yet you never change. Ha! Makara la bo shetele bo sambarele. Le bere ke setele bo shatuya mana kala bo shet. I want you to come this morning expectant. But Jesus, hey! Fia gara rel. Fia gara rel. Fia gara rel. Jesus. Please let us come to church expectant this morning. We have come to fellowship and I want you to open your heart and ask God to show forth his power. Hey! Oh! to dance this morning. Please remove it. Right? If you are wearing 16 inches, please remove it. Hallelujah. We are ready to praise God this morning. Your dancing shoes. Hoyana. Hey! Your hands. Tutu. Your hands. Tutu. You are not giving me your hands. Oh. Hey! Uh. Hey! Your hands. If your neighbor is not clapping, migrate to another place. Migrate. Migrate. If that neighbor that is standing beside you is not clapping, move to another place. Hallelujah! Hey! Hey! Grab your hand at you! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hallelujah! Hey, what a marvelous God! What a marvelous God! 
Madagascar. He has some marvelous things for me. Hey, what a marvelous car! What a marvelous! He's still doing marvelous things for me. Hey, hey, you what a marvelous car! What a marvelous car! He has some marvelous things for me. Hey, what a marvelous car! What a marvelous! He's still doing marvelous things. Hey, hallelujah! Me, oh, hey, what my father cannot do, what my mother cannot do, he has done it again and again. Hallelujah! Hey, 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 what my Too much. Yeah. Hey, you are 
Lord has done it. Hey, finally, oh, the Lord has done it. Hey, the Lord has done it. Hey, the Lord has done it. Lord has done it. If God has done it for you, shout of thunderous hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to wave your hands to the most high God. Wave your hands to him and say, Father, thank you for doing it. Finally, God has done it. Wave your hands to him and appreciate him. We have come to stand in his presence to worship and adore him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. To you, all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Let us take that song with understanding as we have come to his presence this morning. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand, Lord. and worship the Lord. Somebody worship the Lord. Lost in his presence this morning. Somebody get lost in his presence. Just get lost in his presence this morning. Just get lost in his presence this morning. I lost in your presence. I lost in your presence. I start Just keep singing the star. You know, keep singing. Church, worship the Lord. Some of us are far off. Come, come closer. We are far off. Come closer. Just stand before him. 
words may be limited. Your strength may be limited. Just stand. Just stand before him. Before you go back, you will be transformed. Just stand before him. Just keep worshiping him. I stand. I stand. I stand. I stand. I stand. I'm not sufficient to myself. I'm not strong enough. I am weak, but I stand. I stand. Oh my God. I stand. I stand. Quiet. Take it deeper. I stand. I'm so weak, but I stand. I'm so weak. I struggle to serve God. I struggle to serve God, but I stand. I just come to stand this morning. I stand. I stand. Lord, bills are waiting at me. Many bills, team of glory, I just stand. Lord, a lot of things emotionally disturbing me, but I stand. I just stand. Lord, I'm not asking anything. I just stand. I'm standing. I'm just standing. Lord, I'm just standing. I'm just standing, my Father. I stand. Quiet. Take it deeper. Do what God is doing this morning. Somebody do what God is doing in this place this morning. I stand in love I stand by your sin. Worship God. We must not pray. Just worship God. Let's go. I stand in love I stand. Just see yourself standing before Him. See yourself standing before Him. It pays to stand before God. It pays to just come and stand. Don't ask anything. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Just stand. Stand before Him. today to stand. Hear what the president will say. Run to your God. Just come and stand. Before you leave, you are transformed. That is the God we serve. First King chapter 18. First King 18. Please continue on the mode of worship. First King 18 verse 15. First King 18 verse 15. Just stand before him. Elijah said, As the Lord Almighty liveth, whom I serve, do you serve this God? I will surely. This is not the scripture I'm asking, please. First King 18. 
No. King James, sorry. Thank you. And Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him today. Hallelujah. I will surely show myself unto him today. I have not come to ask. I have just come to stand that I may show myself. The things troubling me, I have just come to stand that I may show myself. When God sees me, he will see all I'm going through. I stand. I stand. Quiet, take us. Let's go. I stand in all Let's go quiet. Let's gain some mileage. Let us gain some mileage this morning. I stand. Stay. Stay. Hey. Hey. I stand. Of you. I stand, I stand in more of you. I stand, I stand in more of you. I stand, quiet, let's go. In more of you.
Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. When we stand before him, we are transformed. When we stand before him, we behold. But we all with open faces. Put us there. Beholding as in a glass. The glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory. Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. It only happens when you come and stand. You are changed from glory to glory. From glory to glory. It pays to just come and stand. Elijah said, The Lord of hosts, the one that liveth, I stand before him. We be all until we have. We be all until we That is your prayer. That is your prayer. Hey, how long? How long? How long? My God, I I can't go back like this. I can't go back like this. I can't go back. I hold you. I behold. I can't go back like this. Where is my glory? Where is my glory? I can't go back like this. I can't return. Where is my glory? Oh. This your version. We don't like this version. We don't like this your version. This your version is good, but we don't like this one. There is studio. Put on the scripture, please. We don't like this your version. We like this new vision. We behold, behold, behold. We are changed into the same. This your image is not good. We like this one. We be all until we are from. 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 Somebody be holy. Don't let him go. We be all. Yeah. Don't let him go. Be all till we are from. Hey, 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 up on. We be all until we are. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey.
Send my own word this morning. Is that your prayer? Send my own word this morning. Is that your prayer? You have ascended to the hills of the Lord. Now ask, Father, send my own word. Send my own word this morning. Send my own word. You have ascended unto the hills of the Lord. Send my own word this morning. Oh God, my own word. I don't love this version on me. This version is fine, but I don't love this version. Send my own word. Lord, I'm angry in my spirit. Send my own word. I don't want to be distracted in the service today. I know there is a great move in this place. I know there is a great move in this place. Seven people will be healed of problem in the heart. Problem in the heart. Seven people will be healed. Seven people will be here. Two people, problems in the ear. Three people, problems in the eye. You will go back and you will not find that same problem. Ask God, Father, speak to me. Speak to me. I say seven people will be here. Problem in the heart. Seven people will be here. Problem in the heart. Two will be here. Problem in the ear. Three. Problem in the eyes. It's not the prophecy. You don't need to believe it will happen because God said it. Father, your war. Father, your war. Father, your war. Father, your word this morning. Until his word came. Until his word came. Oh, the king sent for him. Oh God, let the president of this nation send for me. Let my word come. Lord, somebody will send for me. Send my own word. Send my own word. Send my own word. Send my own word. I can't live out of the word of the law. I can't live out of the word of the law. Send my own word this morning. The word of internal life. 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 Oh God, send my own word. Send my own word this morning. Send my own word. Release my own word from the mouth of your servant. Help me. I have not come to add to my spiritual CV that I came to church. No, I came, Lord, to be whole. I came to be whole. I can to be whole this morning. Lord, Lord, help me. Help me. This version of me. Help me. I don't want this version. I don't want this version. You said from glory to glory. The part of a just man is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect days. These are the perfect days of God. These are the perfect days of God. Don't wait for the days. We are in the days the perfect days of God. The perfect days of God. Oh God, help me this morning. I came that I may find help. I came that I may find help. I came to find help. I navigate in the realm of the spirit. I navigate. I find my way in the throne of God. I find my way in the throne of God. I gain some mileage and I begin to find God. I will not let you go. No. Oh God, this version of me, I don't want this version. I don't want this version. Every year, iPhone will upgrade another version. How come my life can upgrade? How come my life can upgrade? Every year, Toyota bring new cars. Every year, everlasting living God, the government upgrade. How come I'm a child of God? I am the same person every day. Oh, we go from glory to glory. Lord, as we behold. Lord, I need a new version, a new version of my life, a new version of my life, King of Glory, iPhone, bring every version every year, every year they bring new version, how come the company of God, I remain the same, no law, I be old, until I'm from, I be old, I don't want this version of Brian, this version of Brian is poor, this version of Brian is timid and fearful, I don't want this version, Lord, the version of my sisters. I don't love this their version. Lord, 
I don't love this their version. I don't love the versions of my brother in peace assembly. I hate this version. Lord, we passion. I hate this version. We don't love this version in peace assembly. There is more in you. There is more in you. Help us this morning. Makusa <laughs> In Jesus' name we have prayed. Ezekiel 27 verse 1. Ezekiel 27 verse 1. The Bible says there that the word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, you're going to cry to God and ask God to send you his word again. Word that will change your life word that will liberate you, word that will bring peace, word that will bring healing, word that will convert all your defeat into victory. Shall we just pray to God? Father, send your word to me today. Word that will remove every embargo and resistance. Word that will liberate and set me free. Lord, send your word. Word that will free Make me free to serve you the way I want. Word that will remove shame. Word that will remove pain. Word that will remove reproach. Word that will remove mockery. Word that will remove frustration. Word that will remove anxiety. Lord, send your word. Word of deliverance, word of healing. Word of victory, word of domination. Word of dominion. Lord, send your word. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Our precious Father, we want to thank you today. We are grateful because it has pleased you to spare our lives and to bring us to this place of worship. Lord, we ask that your hand will rest upon us and you send us word that will transform our lives today in Jesus' name. Father, please do for us what no man can do. Holy Spirit, have your rightful place. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can we give the Lord a round of applause? Can we give the Lord a round of applause? Shall we please be seated? God bless you. Quiet, thank you. God bless you. Today... I'm trusting that God will visit you in such a way that your life will never remain the same. I don't know how many of us were, if you were in the Sunday school today, you find that somebody was the main focus of our attention. Who, if you know you were there, can I see your hand up? Who was the main focus of our attention? The son, Jesus, the son. And I want you to know that this season is all about the sun. 
they call today the palm, and of course you know what Palm Sunday means. What does it mean? The triumphant entry of Jesus into where? Jerusalem. And that will mark your own triumphant entry too in Jesus' name. Um, yes, we are going to preach, but I want us to take a look at some of the things Jesus actually has done for you, that he has done for me. So we're going to watch some clip of the Passion of Christ because this week and next week we'll focus and zero it on not only anybody but who? Jesus. So I'll let you watch it just for some time. Please, um, the media, let's have it. It's about Jesus.
Joseph of Arimathea, an honorable member of the council who had not consented to this need, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a price that Jesus paid for you. What a price that Jesus paid for me. I'm sure we all saw what had happened. Truly, he suffered. He suffered and paid the price you and I could not pay. He yielded his life. So from that garden of Gethsemane, all the way through torture, agony to the cross. He paid the price that had to be paid. Because Matthew 27, 35 says, Christ suffering on the cross was not only shameful, it was totally disgraceful and degrading. Even in America, where we have all manner of, um, they don't put people to that kind of torture. But then why do we have to let you see this? So that you will truly appreciate the fact that indeed Christ went to the cross. And what he did, he didn't just do it for himself. He did it for you. He did it for me. That is why you are not permitted to be depressed. That is why you are not permitted to fear and have anxiety. That is why you are not permitted to be sick because the Bible says by his stripes we were healed. That is why you are not even allowed to have mental sickness because everything that could have happened to you truly was put on Jesus Christ. You are not even permitted to be sorrowful. You are not permitted to even experience rejection because so what happened? He was truly rejected. That was what the Bible says. The people that he thought would have been there for him, what happened? They all disappeared. Unfortunately, we couldn't see when the cock crow. Brethren, the cross is a constant reminder for you and me of God's mercy. And that is exactly what we want you to see and understand today. This week and next week talks about Jesus Christ. At the cross, we see the practical demonstration of God's love, God's mercy to mankind. At the cross, we see the wrath of God meeting the love of God at the same time. God's wrath meeting is what? It's love at the same time. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. And the only thing he did was to do what? He gave. And he didn't just give. He gave his best. It was the best that he gave to us. That is why we are not permitted to give him anything but our own best. You see, it's at this cross that we've just seen that the final solution of human problem you know, was seen. For example, in 1 Peter 1, 18 to 19, the Bible said clearly there, 1 Peter 1, 18 to 19, that the cross was and is the only adequate means of our forgiveness. If there is going to be any forgiveness at all, it must be at where? At the cross. The Bible says, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Verse 19 now says, but with the precious what? Blood of Jesus Christ as of the lamb without blemish and without spot at the cross. Christ paid the ultimate price for you. He paid it for me as well. And at the cross, he yielded his life as an, an atonement for the sin of man. Do you know that it was at this same cross that Jesus Christ was treated like a slave? He was treated like a criminal. He died like somebody who do not have any support. It was at this cross that he was rejected. He was mocked. 
even people scorned him, said, ah, if truly we've had you raise the dead, you did this, save yourself, come down too. It was at this cross that we saw that Jesus triumphed over sin, over Satan, and over death. It was at this same cross that we saw that we can be free from everything the devil may want to put against us. It is at this same cross that we are free from guilt. It was Romans 8, 1 to 2. Romans chapter 8, 1 to 2 tells us that there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after what? Spirit. Brethren, it's at the cross. He brought us into the family of believers. It is this same cross. It's at this same cross that he healed us of our sicknesses. Matthew 8, 17 says, himself took our infirmity. Why are we reminding us ourselves all this? So that you will know that truly Christ did for you what no man can do. It's at the cross he gave us a rich and abundant life. An inheritance that if truly you walk in Christ, you find that God has really provided for you so much. That is why you are not permitted to lack. That's why you are not permitted to be oppressed of the devil. A life of purpose was given to you. A life of meaning was given to me on that cross of Calvary. John 10.10 10 says, what? The thief cometh not but to steal to kill, and to do what? But I have come to do what? Give you life in abundance. My prayer is that that life in abundance will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, it's at this cross Jesus provided for our needs. Philippians 4.19 says, My God is the only one who will supply all not some. Did he say some? What did he say? All your need. And I want to assure you that truly your needs are met. I say by reason of what Jesus did on the cross, your needs are met. At the cross, he blessed us beyond our imagination and gave us rest from fear, from sadness, from anger. That is exactly what Jesus did. Brethren, I want you to know that every child of God, every child of God that God has created, therefore, must enjoy what Christ did on the cross of Calvary. Every child of God is destined to live a life that is above fear, that is above sickness, that is above shame, that is above diseases. Why? Jesus did it on the cross of Calvary. But you see, it's one thing for Christ to have done it. It's for me to now take what? The opportunity and apply it to whatever situation I find myself. Brethren, I want you to know that the reason why we are looking at what Jesus did is so that you, are, you see yourself as being ordained to live a life that is free from the power of darkness. Free from this world. You are empowered to contend and overcome every power opposing your forward movement in life simply because of what Jesus has done. And as a child of God, brethren, because of what he did on that cross of Calvary, you must begin to enjoy supernatural favor. Because that is your heritage. And as a child of God, you know what he did again? He exempted you from struggle. He exempted you from degradation. He exempted you from failure. He exempted you from pain. He exempted you from what ordinary men in the world will go through if only will embrace what he has done on that cross of Calvary. My prayer for us is that our life will bring pleasure to him in the name of Jesus. Brethren, we are in this joyous season of Easter, truly. 
But at the cross, God gave us his only begotten son. It is at this cross, brethren, that God saw that there is a need for us to look more like him because he gave us the opportunity and the ability to be able to embrace everything that will make us truly the children of God. It is at this cross that he was treated, and I told you, badly. But he was treated badly so that you and I can be treated fairly. At the cross, Jesus triumphed over sin, over death, and over Satan. There is something I noticed Jesus didn't do, and I want us to look at it. And of course, if you look at the Bible, you find that the Bible is full of his name right from Genesis to the end. For example, if you look at Genesis, the Bible calls Jesus. That was his name. He said he's the seed of the woman. If you look at Exodus, the Bible calls him the Passover lamb. Leviticus says he's the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. We can go on and on. If you look at Matthew, you find that Jesus is called what? God with us. In Mark, he's the son of God. In Luke, he is the son of Mary, feeding, feeling what you feel. If you look at Revelation, the Bible says it's your coming, soon coming king. Why are we looking at Jesus today? We are looking at Jesus because he has been so good to you. He has been so good to me. Do you know eight things took place on that cross? What did I say? Eight major things. The first thing I want you to understand that took on, on that cross was that he was punished that I might be forgiven. Because if you look at my sin and what I have done, it was not enough for me to be able to pay the price. So the first thing Jesus did was to do what? He was punished for my so that I can be forgiven. Number two, Jesus was wounded. You saw the wounds. You saw the way he was beaten. I don't know how many stitches, if it were in America, how many stitches will you have to do for the nurses? How many hours will the doctor spend trying to amend what you saw? But the Bible said that Jesus was wounded that I might be healed. Number three, Jesus was made sin for me so that I am no longer sinful. That is why when somebody says, I have given my life to Christ, the question I normally ask, from what? From what? If you have been in church 10, 5, 15 years, 20 years, and there seems not to be any difference, in how you've been behaving 10, 15 years ago, brother, sister, nothing has happened. What did I say? Because the Bible says he came that he might do what? Save us from... If you say you're a child of God, the first thing Christ wants to do for you is to save you. He's a savior. You can't save yourself. I can't save myself. So Jesus was made sin with our sinfulness, that we might become the righteousness of God. Number four, Jesus died our death that we might share in his own life. That is why we have the hope of heaven. Number five, Jesus became poor. And when we say some of these things, people don't seem to appreciate what we are saying. He became poor. Truly, he became what? Poor, so that you and I, through his poverty, might become rich with his own riches. And if you look at it, number six, Jesus bore our shame so that you can no longer become shameful, so that we can share in his glory. If you look at Colossians 3 verse 1, the Bible says that, and Ephesians, it says, is now at the right hand of God. Number seven, Jesus endured our rejection that we might be accepted 
by him. And finally, he became a curse. That's what the Bible says. Jesus became what? A curse for us that we might receive his blessing. Now, having seen what Jesus did, how do we respond? How do you respond to what this man went through on the cross? Brethren, the cross is a weapon of spiritual warfare. And that is one thing I have always seen, that it can, uh, I see it as a weapon by which God was able to make you righteous and make me righteous. The cross is known to have helped criminals. I've seen people who visited prisons, hardened criminals, people who had committed terrible sins. But when they come to the cross, what happens? They receive mercy. And somebody said, but why would God have permit them to have mercy? Haven't they have raped, they have killed, they have done all manner of things. It's the same thing. The only reason for your own is that you are not caught. And you are not convicted. For anybody to say the sin that a hardened criminal has committed is much more than what we do. Ah, no. Sin is what? At whatever level. Sin is what? It's sin. So, I have seen the cross bringing a, 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 a hardened criminal to their feet. And that is why we must learn to preach the gospel. The cross is known to have changed alcoholics. If you say you're a child of God, you should not be an alcoholic. Because that is the reason. I'm talking about how do we respond to that. Oh, you remember the children of Israel. They were saved from which land? Egypt. But when the going got rough, they said, we will go back. We remembered what? The champagne and the, you know, something on the rocks. You know, I've never been a drunk, so I don't know the name of all those. Uh, eh? They began to mention all those things that they enjoy. If you have truly given your life to Christ, it must change you from an alcoholic into somebody who loves and does not abuse whatever uh, drinks that you find. Because alcohol abuse changes the personality and habits of people. When I was growing young, each time my father threw a party, you find that people would drink and drink and drink. And I mean, gentlemen that they should be, they don't know when they have removed what? Everything that is on them. Some will even be right sleeping where? Oh, but you say, no, our own, when we drink, we don't do that. Whether when you drink your own, you don't do that. The most important thing is still that something must change because that is not the way God wants you to be. I have seen the cross has power over drugs. People who are what? Who are addicted to what? Drugs. Billions of federal and state tax dollars are spent in this country to help people rehab or rehabilitate people who are what? On drugs. Is that not true? If you look at many of our great leaders, either their children or somebody very close to them, they are hooked on what? On drugs. And that is why Mexico is uh, enjoying, because they know that this is what these people want. So they will dig tunnels, they will do everything just to make sure that the drug gets where? To the hand of the people. But it's destroying lives. People at their prime, they are caught short. Why? You look at all the celebrities. At their prime, when they are supposed to be shining. And if you look out, what is the cause? They are what? Hooked to what? Even Bob Marley was hooked to what? All of them, drugs. But Christ is here to do what? To deliver. There is nothing that you are hooked to that Jesus is not here to help you, to free you from it. You see, the effective means of helping this drug addict is to present the cross to them. And when you do, I'm telling you, life will never remain the same for them. I can go on and on to tell you, even homosexual, uh, the people who are depressed, uh, the cross is the only reason you and I can approach God. And that is why we must 
look into what had happened. Don't let us just see it. Ah, it is just a, a film. Is that not true? It's not just a film. In fact, what we saw, if you are actually there, you find that they couldn't actually represent what actually happened to Jesus Christ. So, how do you respond to him? How do I respond to Jesus? Brethren, the cross is our only hope of eternity. What did I say? It is our only hope of eternity. No religion on the planet teaches that the founder of its religion died to pay their price. No. When they died, they died and went to wherever they went. Is it Buddha you want to tell me? He did not die for his followers. Muhammad did not. Hitler that killed six million Jews. He didn't die for the people. And when he was about to be caught, what did we what were we told? He committed what? Suicide and finally destroyed his own life and destroyed the life of his people. Satan killed 30 million of his people. And if you look at all this government that we have all over the place, is it even in Russia? Or China. All these people, they came, did whatever they needed to do, and they disappeared. Brethren, 2 Corinthians 5.15 says, he died. Can we read it together? 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. And this is one thing I want you to take away from this place. Because his blood is so potent and can blot out all our sins. Can we read it together? And that he died for who? All that they which live should not henceforth live unto who? Not unto myself, but unto him. And that is why Apostle Paul says in, he says, he told us completely, he said, the life that I now live, eh, I live it in Christ Jesus. Galatians 2.20. Brethren, I don't know what your life is like, but whatever it is, Jesus has come to do us good. How much of your life is committed to Christ? How much of my life is committed to him? If my life is not yet right with God, then what I saw there is a warning that I must get my life what? Together. I must be sober and I must reflect on what I've seen. That blood was shed for me. It was shed for you. It was shed for your sin. It was shed for everything that the sin I will ever commit in life. Therefore, I must repent if I have not given my life to Christ. Therefore, I must ask for forgiveness now because that is the essence of that film that we have just watched. Your decision today is very important. So also is my own decision too because God is waiting to know. Oh, you say, but I've been in church. Yes. I've seen people who have been in church, yet nothing has actually happened. But God is saying something must happen today. You watch that. None of us haven't watched that and haven't heard what we said must go to a Christless eternity. No. God forbid that you will because you won't say you have not known. You remember the story of that man who was rich and Lazarus. Is that not true? Ah, when they got there, the two of them got there truly. And the rich man was saying, look, send somebody from here and go and tell, I have five brothers. In fact, that was what he said. Five of them. They he said, go and tell them that where I am, in case they didn't know, it is not the best place. And they were told, he was told that, don't worry, we have John, we have James, we have Joseph. Began to mention your names. So. Say, we have them there. They will tell them. Brethren, I'm praying for you that you will accept what Christ did on the cross of Calvary. I want us to please bow our heads as we pray. He came that you might have life and have it in abundance. God can take from you hard labor and grant you favor. All you need is accept what he did on the cross. He can move you from shame to fame, from sorrow to joy. 
He can remove that pressure that is making life unbearable. If only you say, here I come, O Lord. From trials to triumph, that is why we have Jesus. God can take a grief and turn it into glory. There is nothing that is happening to you today that he cannot handle. He can handle everything. The Almighty is never at loss when you are confronted with human problems. No, no, no. He's only asking us we should come to the feet of the cross. The cross is where the solution is. The cross. The cross is where the solution is. Will you accept him? Will you ask him to take control of your life? This is where we are, brethren. Maybe you are here today. You have yet to surrender your life to Christ. I am inviting you and I'm pleading with you to please surrender your life. The cross is where the solution is. No matter what is happening to you today, the solution is at the cross. Because Jesus Christ did for us what no man can do. He did for us what no man can do. He did for us what no man can do. He did for us what no man can do. He did for us what no man can do. No can do. Ah, moved us from poverty to prosperity. It is only by the cross. From sickness to divine health, it's only by the cross. From begging to giving, it's only by the cross. From barrenness to fruitfulness, it's only by the cross. From shame to glory, it's only by the cross. Would you accept him today? Would you invite him to take absolute control? Would you advise, ad, invite him to be the Lord of your life? Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Thank you for the cross. Say, Father, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Lord, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the cross. Lord, thank you for the cross. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you because you did not stay and remain in the cross. Thank you because you rose again. Lord, we bless you for the cross. We thank you for the cross. We thank you for the cross. Lord, 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 we thank you for the cross. We are grateful. Lord, we thank you. You did not stay in heaven. You came and died on the cross. You did not stay in heaven. You came and died on the cross. You did not consider yourself better. But Lord, you came and became a slave. You became Lord. And oh God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Philippians 2.7 says you made yourself of no reputation. You took upon yourself the form of a servant. On the cross. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You did not resist your arrest. Because if you have done so, where would we have been today? Bible says in Isaiah 53, 7, it said, He was oppressed and afflicted. Yet, he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter. And like a sheep silent before his shearers is silent. So, he opened not his mouth. Father, thank you for not resisting that arrest. Thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary. Lord, you didn't choose your own way. Because you said, ah, Father, how I wish you could take this cup away. He said, but nevertheless, at it is your will must be done. My Father, if it is possible. He said, nevertheless, let your will be done. Father, thank you. Lord, you didn't get off the cross because you could have called the angels and you would have jumped off the cross. Say, look, I'm not dying again. I'm not dying again. But yet, Lord, you died for us on the cross of Calvary. You did it for us, oh God. You did it for us. You did it for us. 
Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Almighty Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for that sacrifice that you did on that cross. Horrible cross. Father, we thank you. We do not underestimate the suffering that went there. Truly, you suffered for us. You did. You did. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, by reason of this wonderful cross that you died on, today we have the ability to be called children of the Most High. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Lord, thank you. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. I therefore stand as God's representative and declare that by reason of this thing Jesus has done, on the cross. May you begin to experience a new season. Amen. God who gave Mary Magdalene a street woman, a demon possessed woman, gave her a fresh start. May the Lord grant unto you a fresh start in the name of Jesus. Bible says he suffered shame. Those who have written you off, those who have dragged your name in the mud, I'm praying by reason of what Jesus did that God will grant unto you his glory in the name of Jesus. This is a new day for you. I declare by faith that you shall sing a new song. Old things, old tears, sorrow, sinful habits will be a gone, a foregone conclusion in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 14, 19 says, evil bows at the gate of the righteous. Lord, I'm praying that every plan from the pit of hell, every wickedness in the in wherever they are coming from. May they bow before your people in Jesus' name. I command all negative situation in your life to bow. May they bow. Sickness, bow. May you receive healing from the Almighty God in the name of Jesus. By the authority of God, I pray that your son will continue to rise. Amen. By divine decree, you shall not beg for bread in the name of Jesus. Amen. Never again will you be an object of pity in the name of Jesus. Amen. People will begin to celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree that you will recover all that the devil has stolen from you in the name of Jesus. In spite of all reports around you, God will come through for you in Jesus' name. The Lord will restore all that have, you have lost and he will give you double for your trouble in the name of Jesus. He will fast forward your life. He will promote you. He will be by you. Every sickness that is causing your life to be unbearable, we, we, we command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for the cross. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord.
Praise the mighty Jesus. Please, let's stretch our hands towards our pastor and just say, Father, we thank you for his life. Thank you for blessing him. Thank you for newness. All that you have spoken over us, let it find germination and let it, let it germinate and bring forth fruit in his life. In the name of Jesus, Father, we decree and declare that it is well with him and his family. It is well with his marriage and his children and his posterity and everything that pertains to him, finances, every area of his life is blessed. For that we decree and declare that all is good and perfect will of God for his life will come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. May we know the value of the resurrection of Jesus and know the value of his death in the name of Jesus. You know, I was thinking that if I was Jesus, forgive me. You know, my own mind is different. And Jesus came to me and wanted to hug me. Upper court. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm being honest. Straight up. <laughs> I'll tell my disciples that they should not be angry. And I'll tell God to forgive me. <laughs> That's why I'm not Jesus. May God help us to, to value the, the work that he did to get us saved and delivered. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, um, tithing and offering time, blessing time. Um, our tithe is 10% of our income or anything that we have gotten. And I know that God himself will bless you in Jesus' name. I want to let you know that you are giving on good ground. You know, when you sow, you sow on good ground. It's the ground that you sow on that determines the harvest that you get. May God help us in Jesus' name. So, you sow on good ground. I was hearing a man of God. And, and he said that um, somebody came to see him. Maybe the wife was, um, maybe they got kicked out of their house and she was pregnant and all that. And they're like, oh, we see our life, all this one. And he had pity and gave them money. He said, as soon as he gave them the money, his heavens closed. Why? He said, because they were not givers. He had to start asking God for mercy. So when you give to people, <laughs> give on what? On good ground. You don't give out of pity. You give by direction and instruction. Everybody say loud, amen. amen. You give by what? Direction and instruction. There are some giving that can close doors. But the giving you are giving today will open doors for you. Amen. Say loud, amen. amen. So you are giving on good ground. So if you are giving your tithe like me, come forward. If you did by Zell, you know, cash up, just come forward. And as you give, the Lord will bless you. Speak to your tithe and say, Father, I thank you for my tithe. And begin to decree and declare. Nobody's giving tithe today. <laughs> that would be very surprising. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up my tithe unto you and begin to decree. It is well with me. I decree and declare more. That which that you want God to do, speak over it. There was one time I was believing God for something. Anytime I would give my tithe an offering, I would tithe to that. I say, Father, I believe you for this. And God brought it to pass. So, Father, I thank you. Just begin to decree in the next 30 seconds. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Begin to mention it. From now on, I receive that job. I receive promotion. I receive increase. I receive abundance. Just let God know what you need from him and tie it to your tight. And Father, I thank you. Father, I decree and declare that it is well with me, well with my family, well with my children, my posterity. We are protected. We are covered in the blood. I thank you, Lord, for abundance, for wealth, for wealthy ideas, for open doors and open heavens. Thank you, Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, for those that have given their tight, things will not be tight for them. Amen. Father, I decree and declare that it is well with them. Amen. It is well with us in Jesus' name. From now on, as they have given on good ground, they will reap harvest. Amen. Harvest in a billion fold return. Amen. Press down, shaking together and running over. Amen. Men will give unto them. Before they go home today, they will get checks. Amen. They will get alerts, alarms. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now it's time to give your offering. You can drop your tight if you have it. And Please give cheerfully. Don't give McDonald's money. <laughs> Five dollars. No. <laughs> give more than that. And as you do, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Okay? Give at your level. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Some of you are like, Five dollars. That's... <laughs> give at what? Tell your neighbor, give at your level. If a child comes to give you a dollar, you will say thank you. Am I right? If a billionaire gives you a dollar, what will you do? I will throw it back at the billionaire so as it should go away. <laughs> Give at your level and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. So please let's rise to our feet with a smile. So people are looking in as if, as if they stole their food. <laughs>
give cheerfully smile let god see your smile rejoice and be glad god is good give us a dance song choir hallelujah all thanks we give to you lord all thanks we give to you lord all thanks we give to you lord we give to you lord we give to you I did not dance to Miuju. I didn't dance. Is that you say it's I don't know if my answer is correct. Please give us two songs that can give, ah, you know. Nobody say I did grace. Now God I did praise. Oh, nobody say I did praise. <laughs> nobody say I did praise. Nobody say I did grace. Now God I did praise. Oh, nobody say I did grace. Now God I did praise. Now God I did praise. Oh. Now God I did praise oh. Now God I did praise oh. Baba we praise your name you are worthy of praise Baba we praise your name you are worthy of praise Baba we praise your name you are worthy of praise Baba praise your name you are worthy of praise I say where any shall one Forgive me Oh Bati Bob Come and see you, come and see. Hey, hey, hey. You have 30 seconds. Come and see you. Come and see what the Lord has done. It's 
sees my velocity in my side. Come and see what they love. say thank you. We rejoice and we say thank you. Just stretch forth your hands in the next five seconds. Just speak over your offering and say, Father, these are my expectations. We need to ask for expectation. Father, I expect that this week my pay will be increased. This week, new jobs. This week, new opportunities. This week, progress. That standing issue receives solution. Just speak over it. Father, I'm joining my faith and I decree and declare that I'm healed by your stripes. As I am giving, I am strengthening I'm, and I have come out of the bed of languishing. I decree my grandchildren come. Pray. Father, I decree safety as I go out and come in. Oh, my Father, I decree divine revelation as I open the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Father, as your children have spoken, so shall it be. Father, we cover these offerings in the blood of Jesus. Father, we take our harvest. We receive checks in the mails. Rebate, favor comes upon us afresh in Jesus' name. Pay increase in the name of Jesus comes upon us in Jesus' name. Open doors and open heavens, opportunities, divine ideas, wealthy ideas become our portions. Breakthroughs come our way in Jesus' name. And as Jesus has risen from the dead, anything dead in our life rises. Say loud, amen. amen. No more dead things, no dead business, no dead opportunities, no dead marriage, no dead children. Thank you, Jesus. No dead destiny. Our destiny receives fire in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Say loud, Amen. Amen means so shall it be. Say loud, Amen. Praise the Lord. If you know you are victorious, shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah will not finish from your mouth in Jesus' name. You may have your seats very briefly. Anybody watching with us for the first time? Anybody worshiping with us for the first time? Any oh, please stand up, sir. Let's please give him a peace assembly handshake. Let's welcome him. You are welcome. Welcome, sir. You just, just let us know your name and who invited you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, that's privilege. And Pastor, thank you. Yes, sir. Um, as a matter of fact, um, I said yesterday I was praying that God should lead me to a church, I mean to a uh, middle school, a boys' school, music, and all that. Wow. And um, I stopped by a family store and the, the boys' school. Uh, what is it? Well, that name, yeah. And I ran into this wonderful blessed gentleman. Ah, uh, glory. Brother George. Oh, sweet. <laughs> that was that said to you. Let's pray for Brother George. Say, Father, bless Brother George. Everybody say it. Father, Father stretch your hand and say, Father, as he has invited somebody, his heart desires are granted in the name of Jesus. Bless him and his family in Jesus' name. Amen. As we have done this, it shall be for you, sir, in Jesus' name. Let's welcome our brother and father. We say we thank you for him that you bless his music ministry, that you open doors unto him, doors that will never be shut again. In the name of Jesus, Father, his joy will be full. In Jesus' name, as he has come, you will give him a first time gift to the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Ladies and gentlemen, sir, you can have your seat. It is good to invite somebody to church. 
And as you do, the Lord himself will bless you in Jesus' name. The best way to get on God's good side and enjoy favor and blessings is to win souls. And as we win souls, the Lord himself will bless us mightily. And the tracts and flies we have given out will germinate and bring forth fruits and salvations, healings, deliverance for those that read them in Jesus' name. See, please don't fail to invite people. And for those that I have not seen in a long time, I've seen some people. I'm not going to look in the direction. Please keep coming. And we have missed you. <laughs> God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Our announcement are as follows. Workers meeting at 9 a.m. If you have been in this church for two years and you are not a worker, there's a problem. Please come and sign up for the workforce. And as you do, the Lord will bless you. Two years is even too long. Come early. It's, I mean, it's a sacrifice waking up at uh, is it 8 a.m. I don't know wherever you are coming from. But we have a meeting at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. When I was in Nigeria, workers meeting was 6.30 so, yeah, <laughs> you're enjoying it. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. You have to wake up, and I will sleep late. Wake up 5.30 to 5. And the road is not where you're just driving and looking at street lights. Oh, God. It is where we toss in Jesus' name. We are enjoying it. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> what can be 9 a.m. is second service in some places. I'm telling you the truth. So, please, as you are here, don't warm the benches. Get on the workforce. As you work for God, God will work for you and your family. When you work for God, God will even speak for your children. Your work will speak for your children, your grandchildren, your posterity in Jesus' name. Amen. Sunday school is at 9.30 a.m. Our Sunday school is at 9.30 a.m. Today we talk about Jesus, the Son. Next week we are talking about the Holy Spirit. Please don't miss out on our Sunday school. And as you come, you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Our worship service is at 10 a.m. Oh, how many of you were blessed by the choir this morning? God will continue to bless our choir in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Bible study is at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Wednesday. So, Bible study is from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Wednesday. I don't know, you know, Southern accent is entering my, my accent. On Wednesday, Wednesday, in the name of Jesus, God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Bible study is on Wednesday from 8, 7 p.m. to 8 Please don't miss out on it. This time where we break the word of God, we dig deep, we talk, we can ask questions. You can know more about God. So, come for Bible study. You can also watch online, but it's good to be present. Friday prayers. We have our special prayers today. Um, I mean, on Friday. Everybody shout hallelujah. So our solution night is this Friday at what? 10 p.m. So if I see all of you here, I must see you plus your family where? On Friday. <laughs> and Friday is supposed to be what? Good Friday, am I right? So don't miss out on Good Friday. All the good things that go out for you will come to pass in Jesus' name. If you don't come, the good thing will not come. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. So come on what? <laughs> Come on Friday so you can experience all the good things that God has for you. Come and pray yourself into the next level. You know, the quarter is ending for the first quarter. We're entering the second quarter of 2024. So you will be blessed as you come in Jesus' name. And regularly every Friday, we pray at 8 p.m. on Zoom. We pray at 8 p.m. on Zoom. We also meet in church every day at 6 p.m. to pray. If you are invite, interested, you can come every day. Come here, pray. If you don't see anybody, just come, walk around the church, pray and go home. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus now. We have some new babies that have been added to the church. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout the biggest hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the family of Brian Bean Bank. Bunk. I hope I got it right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the house, the family of the Bryants and the family of the Ogujis. Let's shout a big hallelujah. <laughs> Choir, shout hallelujah now is your department. <laughs> Fortunately, they are from the same department, the choir department, and they had both girls. Shout big hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Glory to God. So please, if you have their phone numbers, call, text.
Father, in the name of Jesus, I harvest all the souls I have won. I take harvest of my tithing and offering. I, I receive abundance. From now on, I am not in debt. I am wealthy. I am not poor. I am rich. My children will serve God. In the name of Jesus, Father, you bless. Pray for peace assembly. Peace assembly, you are blessed. Crowds flow into you. Senior pastor and his family is blessed. In their marriage and their children are blessed. And grandchildren and posterity. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that I experience open heavens. You have 10 more seconds. Father, I thank you. I receive healing in my soul. If you are down, if you are downcast, you are still hurt. Father, I, I submit my heart to you. That person hurts me, I submit it to you. And I take wholeness. I take deliverance. Pray for your husband. My husband, I is not here. I decree and declare next week he will follow me to church. In the name of Jesus. My wife that needs to be saved, she is saved in Jesus' name. Pray. Father, I decree and declare that this week people will come and bring money to me. People will beg me to bless me. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for honor. Say thank you, Jesus, that I receive honor. I enjoy favor with God and man. Thank you, Lord. We have five more seconds. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me in heavenly places. Pray for your children. They begin to get scholarships. Father, they will not beg to go to school. They will go to the school of their choice. Pray. I receive my papers. Everything. My green card, citizenship, um, anything you need from God. I receive it in Jesus' name. Begin to take it. Say everything in the spirit realm manifests in the physical. Begin to pray. Everything that I have seen in the spirit realm manifests in the physical. Thank you, Jesus. Pray I receive deliverance. Any demonic dream. Any opposition from the enemy. Let that instrument catch fire. Say anything the enemy is using to monitor me. Let that mirror catch fire. Let that coven catch fire. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I am bold as a lion. I'm, I am the heritage of God. I bless you, Lord. I worship you. I exalt your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, O Lord, as we confess you that you are the Lord, you are the Lord. We bless your name, O Lord, as we confess you. Father, we say thank you. We bless you. We worship you. Your children have come here. They didn't come to waste time. They didn't come to mark attendance. They came to experience an encounter with you. My father, as they go home, they will not go home empty-handed. Father, they go home with gifts. They go home with more anointing. They go home with power. They go home with testimonies. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare every closed door, a fratal, open up in Jesus' name. Every closed heaven, open up in Jesus' name. Any arrow the enemy has shot at them, manipulation, divination, every foul spirit warning them, let your fire consume it in Jesus' name. I decree and declare deliverance over your children. Father, we will laugh. Father, this week we will rejoice. This week we will dance for joy. In the name of Jesus. Father, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Anywhere the enemy is trying to attack us, in our finances, in our job, in our marriage, with our children, let it backfire in Jesus' name. If that digit a piece, we fall into it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayers. Father, we bless you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We are going to share the grace in fellowship. But before we do, please, after we've shared the grace, come and dance. Rejoice. And I know they'll give us danceable songs. So that we can dance before God and thank him for this new thing he has done for us. And it will be done in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Decree, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Say one more time. Surely, goodness, favor, glory, money, increase, promotion will follow me and chase me down all the days of my life. And I will continue to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And posterity will do that as well. Amen. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout the biggest hallelujah.